Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this eTrailer scissor stabilizer jack. This leveling scissor jack with a 2500 pound capacity will keep your fifth wheel, travel, horse or cargo trailer level and stable. Now this is going to adjust from 5 inches tall when it's fully collapsed as I have it here all the way up to 23 and 3 quarters inches when it is fully extended. So this is going to give you a total lift of about 18 and 3 quarters inches. I do want to mention that the crank handle is not included. So if you would like to pick one of these up as well, I am including our item number for this crank handle on your screen. Just take that item number and put it in the search field of our website and that will take you to this handle so you can add it to your order. So just give you a brief demonstration here, I'm going to connect my handle here to the nut and let's see if I can get this started here. There, there we go. This is kind of difficult to do when I don't, I'm not actually uh, uh, up against something here. So there we go, now I got it started. So this is going to be a very easy operation and these, this uh, stabilizer jack comes greased and ready to go right out of the box. So it's going to really require not a whole lot of effort and so very smooth operation. Now this uh, jack also features a bow tie base and so let me go ahead and flip this over so you can see that. So this bow tie base is going to keep this jack steady even on soft surfaces. So let me go ahead and retrieve my ruler here and go over some measurements so you have a good idea of the size of this base. So looking at the overall length of the base, we're sitting right at eight and three quarters inches long. And then looking at the width of the base, I'm gonna flip this up here at the widest point. We are sitting right at four and a half inches wide. Now switching from the bottom, to the top, the top plate is going to allow for greater adjustability during installation. We have all of these holes here that's going to give you that flexibility that you are looking for. And the overall length of the top plate, lining that up, we're sitting right at about 10 inches long. And then the overall width, we're sitting right at about three and a quarter inches wide. And on our longer mounting holes here, the overall length is about five eighths of an inch. And then the width is about three eighths of an inch. And our round holes measure about five sixteenths of an inch in diameter. Now, when you have this jack fully collapsed, as I have it here, just some measurements on the length. If you measure from end to end, you're going to be sitting right at about 24 and 7 eighths inches long. And then if you include the nut here where you uh, connect the crank handle, so from the end of the nut all the way to the end of the jack, we'll be sitting right about 26 inches long. So as I said, this jack has a lift capacity of 2,500 pounds. This has a black powder coat finish to help resist that rust and corrosion. And one important note that I want to make, this jack is designed to stabilize a portion of your trailer's weight. So you don't want to support, and this is not designed to support the full gross vehicle weight rating of your trailer. So do not use this jack to lift your trailer or RV. Doing so will exceed the capacity of this jack. Well, that's going to conclude our brief look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.